Now this is one of our Manfrotto medium weight tripods. And this is the side that's up with the gray top. Don't turn it upside down, you could damage the head, and the head is the most expensive part of the tripod. And now that we've got it open here, I'll pull it out. The way you set up this tripod is uh, you spread out the legs, they can just be pulled apart, and you can put it out flat. Now this is the spreader part here. Occasionally, you'll find that somebody has to uh, taken it off and just left it in the bag or it's not attached properly and the way you turn it back on is this little red foot here it snaps off and then you can pull this step on it out okay and uh, there's a number of uses, uses for that I doubt you'll be using them snap it back into place and take this rubber foot and put it back on now if you want to really spread this farther out because you want to make it taller you want to unscrew these little tabs here so that they'll come out more, as you can see. And that'll become more important because as you raise that. And the way you raise it is you, can, you unhook these on all sides, and you can just pick it up almost. There you go. And uh, you can see that the spreader just spreads at the bottom there. And you snap these back into place, and you're, you're a lot taller now. Your tripod is a lot taller now. Oops. Bring that back down. Tighten this up, lift it up, and that's how you would put it away. Now, before we get going, though, I want to make a note of a few other things. This handle right here is used to control the tripod head. And the way you get it into a locking position, so this is this has sort of just come out of the bag, you unscrew it, and then it, it lifts up, OK? And when you're putting it away, of course, you uh, Unscrew it again, you put it down to, into about this position, and you close it up again. Otherwise, it just won't fit in the bag, right? You'll have, a, you'll have a handle sticking out, and that won't be good. So let's just screw that up. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. Now, if you look at the tripod right here, you'll find a little level which will, uh, there's a circle, and inside it, there's a bubble. And then when the bubble is inside the circle, you can't, it, the, uh, you're about level with the floor. Uh, level sort of in gravity, I guess. Now on this side, you'll notice a couple of different knobs. This knob adjusts the tension of uh, how, how quickly this, the, it springs back if you tilt it. So if I do that, it doesn't spring back quickly at all. And uh, this is also used for whether you have a heavier camera or not. In general, you're probably better off leaving the settings however they were. This knob here tightens for the pan. Okay, so it's turning freely here. If I tighten that down, it's not turning anymore. You can force it, but don't force it. Otherwise, you'll strip the threads, and then we'll have to send the tripod in for a costly repair, during which time the, camera, the tripod will not be available for anybody to make their movies on. Okay, so we can tighten that down. This knob up here adjusts the tilt. So it's tilting right now. And if I just tighten it down, it doesn't really tilt as much. Okay. Now, let's just unscrew that so I can show you this on the other side. This knob here, it also extends the handle, which is very helpful. This little knob here is how you get uh, the tripod plate out. Now, if you unscrew it, there's a stop here, so it'll just turn only a certain way. And you've got this piece that moves, but it's not coming out, right? For that, you turn around to the other side, there's a little red button. You press the red button down. Oops. You press the red button down while the plate is over the red bit here, and the plate comes off. Now, the way you get this plate on is it's got a screw and this little piece here. Now, many cameras, such as this one, have a screw hole uh, as well as a just, a just a general hole, which is actually for this little thing here. So I can align those up and uh, sort of put them in place and just tighten this little screw at the bottom here. Now, you don't want to tighten much more than finger tight. At most, you might want to take out uh, a, a coin and tighten it a touch more, but not too much. Otherwise, you can uh, strip the threads and then, again, costly repair for the camera as well as possibly for the tripod. After you've got it back on, After you've installed the tripod plate, you can just put the camera back on in the same way. 
and I'm just going to show you how to get it, get it back on because this one's not very easy. You put it into place here. You press the red button and it slides into place. But again, it's sliding, which isn't good. So you tighten it down with the knob on this side. Now, when you're putting the camera, the, putting the tripod away, pretty simple. Just reverse the steps you use to uh, put it into place. Unscrew that so you can get the handle down like that. Make sure that they, these are all the, at their shortest settings so that you, you basically make it shorter. You, bring, you pull the spreader up and you bring it in the middle. And you screw it up a little bit, and that'll be good. So the next person doesn't find that the spreader is going all wonky all over the place. Now, one more thing to keep in mind is it won't fit with the, the feet like that. So you actually have to pull this spreader up till the feet point out, down, rather than off to the side. And then that'll make it possible to fit it in. And there you are.